I feel like Joe Exotic and I'm like petting my tiger right now. This is the main reason why you need a crash bar to avoid things like this, accidents, and other little stuff that we're about to get into right now. All right guys, so really quick, so just so you can see everything that's touching the floor right now, it is only the crash bar and maybe a tip of the, uh, the foot peg, but the foot peg does bend up. In the event of you either scraping peg or you going down and your pegs having to move up, um, your foot pegs will literally just move up nice and easy like that. So basically the only thing we have touching here, as you can see, is the crash bar and that's only the tip of it. Nothing else on the bike right now. Just to give you guys a perspective of the other side, so you can see. All right, so now that you saw that, I think it's time to pick her up, take her on the road, and we're gonna be talking about everything else. Let's give you guys a quick little walk around of this little beauty right here. Beautiful day today in dirty Jersey. Blue skies, clear skies as you can see. Amazing day. 68 degree weather. Can't ask for anything better than that, right baby? Alright guys, so the bunking crash bar that I have set up on my 2020 Lowrider S is probably one of my favorite add-ons that I put on the bike. Um, number one, it looks great. I just think it just gives a bike this whole aggressive look to it from the front. And I'll get off the bike in a few minutes and so we'll do a little walk around, show you guys exactly how everything looks on here. Um, obviously the main reason why I got it was just for safety purposes. If in the event, if I was to ever go down, that crash bar is gonna protect the main most important parts of my bike which are the tank, the engine, and the drivetrain. Everything down there, everything that matters, the heart and soul of the bike will be protected because of that crash bar right there. As you can see before, when I laid it down on the floor, the only thing touching, that was pretty close, right? <laughs> the only thing touching the, the floor was the crash bar itself. Now, you might be telling yourself, well, you know, I'm probably never gonna go down, God forbid, you know, uh, I'm gonna say rider, whatever it is, whatever excuse you're trying to use. Um, that's not the only reason you wanna get it though. That's the most important reason. Second reason is just for a simple tap. A friend of mine, uh, Ladino with the 2020 Lowrider S as well, you guys seen him on my videos a few times in the group rides. He has the same exact bike. Um, and for some time now, he's been telling me, yeah, I'm gonna get the crash bar, I'm gonna the crash bar. And he was actually gonna get the uh, Harley Davidson mustache looking one. Um, he never got it. Uh, apparently, he uh, parked his bike outside in front of where he lives at. And when he woke up the next morning, I guess a car must have bumped into it and they tipped it over. So with that little occasion, he had a lot of damages onto the bike. He has a big dent on the tank. Um, I think his grips are messed up, his bars are messed up as well, and a few other little things here and there. Um, but the, these are things that can be, uh, you know, avoided because things like that tend to happen a lot. You could be out one night, you could be heading to a bar, heading to a friend's house, heading to wherever it is you're going, leave your bike out, and the minute you walk outside, your bike is on the floor because some guy or some girl tipped your bike over, they hit it with their car. Uh, this bike was so beautiful, nice and clean, and I took a little ride from this weekend. I got all dirty, man. Needs another little wash. It needs another nice little cleanup, just so it can be pristine, prestige. All right, so um, right here, as you can see, we got the crash bar 
in the front right here this is the bunk king crash bar like i mentioned before very easy install by the way if you want to see exactly how i installed this uh crash bar on the front i'm gonna link the video at the end you can see my install video on how i did it trust me believe me it's very 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 simple so we'll take a few steps back here and i'll show you guys exactly how how the crash bar looks there's also a few companies that uh, are out there that make these crash bars um this is the one that i like the most uh like i said aesthetically it just looks very pleasing it makes the bike looks aggressive it makes it look cool i'm also gonna later on get the matching uh passenger foot pegs uh bunking makes the same exact ones for it so it could just literally just match up with your bike and then those foot pegs in the back are also gonna act like a protector to the bike in, in an event of an accident or anything like that it'll help you protect more of the back right here um, if you're ever seeing a motorcycle go down the the main places that gets hit first in the back are the turn signals i am going to get rid of my turn signals soon so obviously the foot packs are going to be taking place of that uh that, that hit that traction in, in the event of anything you know now i'm gonna give you another reason why this crash bar is very beneficial and why you might like it on those long rides um i'm five seven so for you taller guys who um feel a little bit more cramped than i do on this bike because i don't feel cramped at all um you guys might like this a lot uh for those long rides where you're able to stretch your legs out and you're able to go ahead and put your your foot let them rest on the crash bar you could do that as well my advice would be to uh first get some grip tape on here that way you can um cover it all up with the grip tape so when you put your foot uh it won't slip away because it is just a little slippery but like i said for the long rides if you just want to go ahead and stretch those legs out you could do that you have the option So we pretty much covered it all man we cover looks yeah it looks cool we cover safety yes in an event of an accident if you were to go down it will protect most of the expensive parts on your bike um in an event of anyone tipping your bike over with their car yes it'll protect everything as well and we got comfort so four awesome things there that you're gonna be getting from this crash bar all right guys so if you are in the market and you're looking for one of these i highly 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 suggest getting one and i think that's gonna cut it right there um i hope you guys enjoy the video hope you learned something today if you want to support the channel in any way uh look under the video uh go check the merch out cop a t-shirt cop something support the channel in any way possible i would really really appreciate it like I mentioned before, I'm gonna link up the video to the install of the bunking crash bar at the end of the video as well. So you can take a look at that if you wanna go and learn how to install these very, very easy. If you're new to my channel, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Hit that bell button, it's gonna notify you anytime I upload any type of new content. And like always, baby, let the force be with you. Ride safe and enjoy the ride, baby. Peace. Oh, peace. Peace!